here we want to welcome to this special edition of our press briefing today, where we have uh, made a significant gain in arresting a Salvadoran fugitive who came to Liberia and also committed another heinous crime. Based on our sister relationship, we are proud to tell you that we have in our in our in our custody today and the chief of the EGT of the Welcome. Well, thank you so much. Um, distinguished members of the press, we have invited you on this impromptu note, um, basically to provide you update on our success code in the fight against transnational crime. Um, we have a very strong Interpol system, and our Interpol system has yielded some results, working with our Sierra Leonean counterparts. When I mean counterparts, I'm talking about the Sierra Leonean police, um, which has yielded to this success today. And so, we have called you basically to inform you of the arrest of a Sierra Leonean national. There he stands, he's Gabriel Kakai, 39 years old, and uh, he is a Sierra Leonean fugitive. Suspect Kakai is alleged to have killed a Sierra Leonean police officer. And uh, subsequently, he fled Sierra Leone and came to Liberia. And he has been on the run. Not only that, Suspect Kakai, since fleeing Sierra Leone and uh, seeking refuge in Liberia, evading justice after allegedly murdering a Sierra Leonean police officer has also been involved with the commission of crimes in Liberia. On the um, 28th of September, 2021, Mr. Kakai, suspect Kakai, along with another Liberian identified as Sam Pine, 23 years old, jumped on a motorcyclist and took away his motorcycle. And since then, he and uh, the Liberian suspect, that is Alaj, have also been on the run until last week, suspect Kaka was arrested. And immediately after the arrest of suspect Kakai, we contacted, through our Interpol system, we contacted the Sierra Leonean Inspector General, who appreciated the efforts of the Liberian National Police to have this suspect arrested, and distinguished members of the press. Uh, we are working currently now with the Liberian Immigration Service, as I speak to you, Suspect Kaka is today going to be transferred to the Sierra Leone Immigration and taken back to Sierra Leone for prosecution. So right after this press conference, Suspect Kaka will be taken to the Sierra Leone border and turned over to the Sierra Leone authorities. This is to let anyone in the sub-region know that you will not commit crime and go with impunity. Our Interpol system is working. If you commit crime in Liberia and run to Sierra Leone, we are working with our counterparts to make sure that you do not evade justice. If you commit crime in Sierra Leone and run over to Liberia, know that Liberia is not a safe haven for criminals. We are gonna go after anyone who commit crime and make sure that safe person or persons are made to face the full weight of the law. So let this go to all others that are, that are following us. That this police administration, headed by our Inspector General on the Patrick Sudu, will leave no stone unturned 
in making sure that individuals who commit crime do not go with impunity. And Liberia is no safe haven for criminals. So suspect Kakai is going to be turned over today to the Southern Authority to face prosecution. I want to say thank you so much. We remain resolved in fighting crime. We remain very resolute in ensuring that those who are bent on causing havoc for our citizens do not go with impunity. Thank you so much. If you have a few questions, you're welcome. Okay, so uh, we, we, for the sake of the investigation that's ongoing in Sierra Leone, we will not go into the nitty-gritty of the investigation because we are going to forward him to the Sierra Leone authorities. They are going to pick up in terms of whatever the nitty-gritty of the investigation is going to go to. Thank you. Lastly, Mr. Carter, you said he was also involved with a librarian who also took motorbike. So what became of uh, the case of the motorbike? In well, well uh, the motorbike in question was sold by this suspect that stands here, Kakai, and uh, efforts are on the way to ensure that that motorbike is free and turned over to the owner. And this suspect that's on the run, Sam Pine, we can assure the Liberian people that Sam Pine will be arrested and made to face the full of the law. This place will be a no safe living for for anyone who is bent on causing harm for our citizens, we can assure you that. Thank you so much. Thank you.